Hello everyone and good day Mike and welcome back to another GTA 5 video where today I'm gonna do a terrible Australian accent because I crashed into a train. Actually no, because today I want to look at this. Hello everyone, my name is Alex. I've done this in a weird order. Hello. <laughs> That was a very weird intro. I got very thrown off by the fact I was doing a very terrible Australian accent there. God, that's a lot of bloom. Hello, everyone. My name is Lex, and welcome back to another GTA 5 video, where, of course, yes, as I've already shown, I'm going to be doing a video on this Holden Monaro, or, as you might know it as, the Car for Mighty Car mods that they've recently done the build for the police car for the super cheap auto TV show advert thing. Okay, I'm really going to stop doing that accent. That's terrible. I'm sure I'm offending many, many people right now. Or, equally, I'm probably making a lot of people laugh. I'm not entirely sure. I won't find out until this video goes out. I'm actually currently, if you think about it, sitting in a room on my own talking to a microphone. So this is all quite ridiculous. And, yeah, as this was recently covered as a car and a build project in Mighty Car Mods, I thought I'd do a video to do my own little car project build. Sadly, this isn't the four-door version that we have in Mighty Car Mods, but as you can see, this is pretty much like the, is was it called the VQ? The HQ? Holden? I, I can never remember. All I know is the, actually, I was about to say all I know is the, and then name you something, and then it blanked my mind. I was going to say the, the, the VB Commodore, but I'm pretty sure that I'm just thinking of a type of beer and a Commodore. <laughs> So actually, I'm going to do a completely different build. Seems in we have the the tools available to make this happen. Um, something we've not done on this channel before. I want to do one of those Australian burnout cars. You know the type that's like has the big blown engine with the big massive wheels with the tiny thin tires on it, and they just do crazy burnouts. I thought I'd build one of those. Seems in we have. Uh, a big old Australian muscle car. So before all of that, there's gonna be some comments on the screen. These are comments featured from the previous video. If you would like your comments featured, you can leave them in the comment section below. I'll pick some at random and feature them at the start of the next video. And don't forget, you can also follow me on Twitter at figure eight. Links for my Twitter are in the description below as always. And don't forget, I also have a new channel, figure eight plus. I'll put a link to that in the description below. It's where I'm gonna be doing hobby stuff, DIY projects, fun little things. When I'm not posting videos on here, I should hopefully be posting videos on that channel. So go ahead and click subscribe for more stuff that I do that isn't stuff that goes on this channel. So let's just pop this car right here. It's a bit, where's the sunlight right now? At this part of the map, the sun is a bit too like up the top. This is why I normally do a lot of videos in the city because the lighting is just a little bit better. This will have to do. Okay, here we are with our Holden HQ slash VQ. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm going to actually Google this time. Normally I don't do this. I'm going to Google so I don't annoy everyone. Yep, that was it. It's the Holden HQ, which is for some reason known as the Monaro, but then is also known as the HQ, which could also be a Belmont or a Kingswood or a Premier. I have zero idea about Australian cars, so any Australians can fill in the gaps. So, let's just go to menus, mods, and as I've said, I want to make this into a proper burnout style car that you'd seen. I think like Cletus did a video, he went to Australia and he did like all those things. You've probably seen them before, the mad burnouts you get in Australia. So, let's just go to menus, customs. Uh, there's actually nothing we can do inside of Benny's. Uh, what have we got on spoilers? We have the low level spoiler, which is actually nothing. Uh, oh, nothing at all. That's interesting. Okay, I guess some of these mods don't work. Uh, we have extended... No, we don't have an extended chin spoiler. Is this all... Are these all duds? Actually, no, wait, we do have a wheelie bar. Okay, that is something. Is it attached to the right spot? I mean, I don't know. This is probably, like, based on something else. Who knows? And I don't know if we actually have wheelie bars on those burnout cars. So I'm actually going to get rid of that. Uh, I don't think we'll have much in the way of stuff. But we do have a side exhaust, which we can always go for because they're always fun. Then on the chassis, we have the roll cage. I guess that's pretty needed for something like this. And the roll cage sort of fits in. So I guess this is sort of made for this car. I say sort of fits in. That's a bit odd. Okay, that might be right. 
Uh, then on the grill, uh, no grill. <laughs> There's actually not much you can do to this car. Um, but we do have the option of no hood or one of these bad boys. And I'm going to go for this right here. And then on the engine, it says upgrade it. Brakes, upgrade it. Transmission, upgrade it. Suspension, upgrade it. Um, have we got any extras? None. We'll go for some turbo. Now, the sound is pretty much there already, but I don't know if this is any different, but I know that this is a good sound, so I'm going to go for it. Let's go for some muscle. Let's go for the Frankenstanger. I think that is the same sound. Yeah, I think that is the same sound. So, let's just go for some paints. I want to go for something nice and bright. Metallic. I don't know. Hmm. Let's have a look through. Maybe an orange, perhaps? Oh, mind you, I do like that ultra blue. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. I like that. And also, it seems to have made these blue as well, which looks really cool. I'm going to go for some of that. And the secondary color? Um, oh, that's actually going to be those. Okay. Um, well, let's make a match. Why not? Or go for the secondary in like a yellow or something like that. Although, this is weird. Very weird. But I don't know. I mean, these cars are crazy. So, that color scheme seems all right. And now, the fun of picking some wheels because we've got to make these wheels big so i'm thinking since they've got to be big with thin tires we're either going for the suv or the high end section so i guess i'm just gonna have to run through whoa okay <laughs> i think well i was about to say well we've picked them already okay i'm gonna run through these these are all i can't believe they're orange that's a shock let's just find something that matches i mean simply we could actually just go with one of the stock wheels we don't even have to go for one from the mods because oh something like that i mean like those are the sort of wheels that we're talking like something big i mean they, they aren't always that but like when i envision that in my head it's these sort of like like penis wheels <laughs> that we should go for to get this looking right in fact i'm even gonna go for cutter right there and i'm gonna go for wheel color and i could even get those yellow to match the rest of the thing uh, race yellow it's an interesting look. We could actually just make that chrome, to be honest. We'll just put on the chrome versions. There we go. It's either cutter or split six. We'll just go for cutter. And now the fun part, because we've got to go to V-Stancer. Suspension menu. I want to just go ahead, first of all, and just make this higher so we can see where we're going. Something like that, perhaps. Might be a little bit too tall, but again, I've got to fit in big wheels here. I'm going to make the wheels thinner, because for some reason I've seen that a thing. Mind you, I've seen some with wide wheels, so I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll sort of leave it like that, I guess. Make the wheels bigger. That's going to fit in the arches a lot better. Oh my god, that is so big. And then I'm going to put that like that. And then on the rear, like that. And then... Uh, ooh. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. We can actually have it sort of tight to the wheels that sort of works and i'm actually going to make the front bit higher just we have the rear bit lower because i feel like that's also a sort of stance that you'd probably get but who knows i mean there's no set rules it's just what i imagine from these cars is pretty much this and here we are with our full australian style we actually need more can we color the smoke i'm pretty sure that is a thing you can do these are the sort of bits that I don't ever look at when we get to tuning. Yeah, there is. Tire smoke color. Okay, we can actually change this. So we can even, like, go as the Aussies do and go for some sort of, like, tires that make... Oh, we can even go for yellow to just match the uh, secondary color. Oh, there we go. Look, we've even got some yellow. Black light. We can even run through these as we're going. Purple. Hot pink. Oh, hot pink looks cool. Pony pink. Red. Orange. Golden shower. Yellow, lime green, mint green, blue, uh, black, which is white, and then white, which is grey. I think, actually, I really like hot pink. <laughs> oh, there goes the tyres. Whoa. Well, that didn't really take long. Oh, dear. Those wheels look very small and broken. Why do those wheels look like that? <laughs> right. I guess we need to uh, fix that up. There we go. Repair vehicle good as new. That is so cool. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I can even make this a little bit better for burnouts. 
Let's just get this torque multiplier and just crank it up to 100. I don't know what this is going to be like for just stock. I don't think that's really going to change anything. But, but, whoa, I guess that makes this spin around a lot quicker. And there we go. Look at that. That is so Aussie burnout style. First time on this channel ever doing something like this. Oh, look at that perfect donut we've got going on there. That is a perfect donut mark. That is so cool. Well, there's something different. Something quick. Something simple. I just saw this car. I thought, do you know what? We've got to do a video on this. Bit of fun. Something different. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you're from Australia, um, have you ever seen one of these things? This is actually one of the things I really want to go to. I mean, I definitely think I'd need to wear some sort of like protective mask. Because that does not look good for your health, being surrounded with all that tyre smoke. But if you've been to Australia, or you are from Australia, and you've seen one of these things, let me know in the comment section below. It'd be quite interesting to see how many Australians, uh, especially car fan Australians, go to these things. Maybe you hate them. Maybe you're sort of like one of these people who's like, oh, I don't like them, they're not fun, you know, they're silly. I'd like to know your thoughts as well. Maybe a lot of Australians don't like it. Although, from what I hear, everyone loves a good burnout in Australia. But there we are. As I said at the start of this video, there is a new channel, Figure 8 Plus. You can check that out in the description below. Go ahead and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Please, thank you so much. And that is going to be it. Don't forget, you can also leave comments in the comment section below that I can feature in the next video. We're actually going really quick with this. Jeez, this is fast. And actually wildly out of control. Here we go. That was, was quite composed for a crash, and I've already recovered. <laughs> this thing's a beast. I love this thing. Well, there we go. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.